Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you like movies, whether it be blockbusters, hidden gems, or everything in between, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with reviews of new releases and some classics. Today, let's talk about Yes, God, Yes. It's a coming-of-age dramedy that stars Natalia Dyer as a Catholic school teenager in the early 2000s who finds herself in an AOL chat that gets a little dicey and opens her up to some new desires. But she doesn't get a chance to process this for long because she's then sent to a retreat through her school where she's forced to suppress any and all urges she may have as she's watched like a hawk by everyone around her. Now, I was really looking forward to this one. I'm a fan of Stranger Things, I enjoyed Natalia Dyer there, I was looking forward to seeing her in a lead role, and interestingly enough, on the show, her boyfriend's played by Joe Keery, and within a few weeks of each other this year, they each had their own movies out where they were in the lead. She had this, and he had Spree, which was pretty good actually. It's totally coincidental, but still funny. But this is written and directed by Karen Maine in her feature debut. This is based on her own short film of the same name, also starring Natalia Dyer. I unfortunately haven't seen it, but either way, I was still looking forward to this. You really don't see the R-rated sex comedy so prominently anymore in movies, and this was kind of an indie take on that subgenre, so I was excited to see how this would play out. And it was pretty good. I enjoyed this movie, I think especially for just how relatable it was. Having gone to a Catholic school myself, specifically during that exact same time period this movie takes place, I got some serious flashbacks when I'd see certain things play out. Like we get a glimpse at a normal day at this school, and you have a teacher walking down the hallways doing nothing but checking for uniform violations and giving out detention slips at the drop of a dime. Luckily I was never on the receiving end of that, but I've seen it happen and it was funny to see that perfectly captured here. Along with the whole routine of gonna go home after school and going instant messenger that's something i did as well and i always found it funny because most of the people i did talk to on aol at the time were people i just saw for six hours earlier in the day i'm pretty sure that was probably the same case for the number of people so i found that pretty funny it also captured the gossipy clickish nature of high school in general at the beginning we're told of a moment where natalia dyer was hanging out with a guy and nothing happened but it immediately spreads throughout the school that they had this sexual encounter and she gets accused of either making the story up herself or trying to cover up that it happened at all. And she repeatedly gets grilled by multiple characters for something that never happened. And as other unrelated drama unfolds, everyone keeps linking it back to this rumor and she winds up getting more and more ostracized over it. It perfectly captures the way that high school is full of people spreading rumors and creating false narratives, and it shows just how harmful it can be towards someone on the receiving end of it. And Natalia Dyer does a great job with the material. Her performance is essentially what carries this movie. She handles the subject matter in a very nuanced way. A lot of it is based on facial expressions and her slowly trying to process her understanding of these new experiences. Like, a big part of the movie is that wherever she seems to turn, she sees nothing but sex imagery between conversations she has, things she overhears, pictures she sees on the wall, and she won't even say anything, but you just see through her facial expressions how she's trying to process it all. One minute she's just confused, then there's almost this denial phase, then she comes around to accept it, and she cycles through so many thoughts in a matter of seconds, and it's just brilliant acting on her part. As far as criticisms go, my main thing is this definitely feels like a very small scale film. It's only an hour and 15 minutes long, and it definitely goes by quickly, which is a good thing, but regarding the story, while it partially is about Natalia Dyer coming to terms with these new experiences and growing as a result of them, it toes the line of going into slice of life territory. It's not not like there's something tangible she's necessarily working towards. She's on this retreat and while she is trying to deal with these rumors being spread about her, that's not exactly the focal point of the film. Characters will relate experiences that happen in the moment to those rumors, but it's not like Natalia Dyer's whole mission is actively combating them. She's mainly just trying to get through her time there while coming to grips with some of her new feelings, and there are these sort of mini arcs during the retreat. Like there's a guy whose attention she's trying to get, and there's a group leader who repeatedly checks in on her and she's trying to hide her phone from her and she'll have run-ins with a guy who is part of the rumors being spread about her but none of these are exactly the main thing driving this forward. I wouldn't call it disjointed, they all come together in the end to tell a cohesive story but there's just not this sense that there's something in particular she's actively working towards other than to just get by and have this personal revelation but that doesn't make it bad, not at all. In the end, like I said, it's a good movie. I'm just saying it functions more as this small scale character piece through moments rather than being this emotionally charged clear-cut story. 
Overall, I enjoy this. It's short, sweet, and a fairly laid-back experience. It takes a more nuanced approach at the R-rated sex comedy and giving it a character-based feel. It doesn't reinvent the wheel by any means, but there will definitely be some who are able to relate. And this is boosted by an excellent lead performance by Natalia Dyer. It's on VOD now. Check it out if you can. Yes God Yes gets a 7.5 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Yes God Yes, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you find it funny, were you able to relate to it at all, and what's one of the funniest movies you've seen lately? Let me know in the comments below! If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll catch you next time.